For many golfers, the irons that they have in their set really is the engine room of their bag. You know, it's going to be the most number of clubs in their bag. It's going to be the clubs that we refer to the most regularly. Pretty much every hole of golf that you play, you will be using one of your irons. So it stands to reason that the iron needs to be very well suited to your game. We want to look at the length of the club. We want to look at the grip thickness of the club. We want to look at the lie angle of the club. We want to look at the head profile, we want to look at the loft of each of the clubs, we want to look at whether it's a cavity back or whether it's a bladed club, all so we can try and hit the best quality golf shots. When you go to assess a set of golf clubs, you might look online or you might look in the golf shop and you will see rack after rack after rack. And for a lot of golfers, when they first walk into the store, that can get quite uh, disheartening. You can look in there and think, well, where am I meant to look here? I've got a set of golf clubs here that's just uh, £20 or, or, or a second-hand set for $20 or whatever. And then right the way through to a, a beginner's set of golf clubs that might be four or $500. And then at the other end of the scale, I might have a set of golf clubs that's going to be four or five thousand dollars. So where do I pitch this? What do I look for for the best set of golf clubs for me? Well I think it's right to understand that within each manufacturer there'll often be three or four sets of golf clubs targeted at a different golfer. So let's pick a random manufacturer and just say Callaway for example. I'm not using Callaway clubs by the way but let's pick Callaway. Within a Callaway set of clubs you're going to have the game improvement stuff, the really friendly beginners stuff. So big chunky profile heads, lots of offset, loads of weight low and deep. Classically they won't look the best but they're going to give you the best performance in game improvement. Sort of stuff you stand here, you hit it, it pops up in the air, it goes a reasonable distance but you don't necessarily get great workability and great feel on that. You then have the mid handicapper stuff, you then have the better players stuff and then maybe you'll have the pro stuff. The pro stuff at the other end of the scale will generally be a blade or a very slight muscle back. So a bladed club will have a much thinner top line, much less offset in the head. More weight higher in the head, less weight on the perimeter and possibly a smaller profile head as well. The club might even be forged, which is a metal process that will make it feel softer when you hit it. So a golfer is going to tell you that that's a better looking club, but it maybe feels slightly harder to hit. So when we strike the ball, we have a smaller sweet spot that feels lovely, but then off that sweet spot, it doesn't feel quite as good. And some people will say, well, why is it easier for a beginner to hit it? Why would a better player not want that ease of use as well? Well, consider that if you drive a big SUV, it's really comfortable to drive, but it's not particularly quick and it's not particularly agile, but it's quite simple to drive. That's your beginner stuff. And then you drive a race car. Now a race car is super fast, super nippy, super agile, but not very comfortable and very easy to crash. So you look at like a Formula One racing car, you can feel every twitch, every turn, every corner, every bump. Whereas in the SUV, all those bumps are smoothed out. But if you're racing a car, you want the agile, you want the quickness, you want the feel. That's where the golfer, the better player, wants a smaller profile head rather than the big, wallowy, comfortable game improvement stuff. So when you go into a uh, retailer, have a conversation with the custom fitter or the PGA professional about your ability, but also about your aspirations. Because don't forget, a set of golf clubs is going to last you a period of time. You want to buy a set of golf clubs that you can grow into. So you think, well, I'm getting better at the game of golf, so I don't want to buy a set of clubs that's perfect just now. I want something that I can grow into in the next one, two or three seasons. So to have that conversation with the custom fitter and they will advise something that's going to help you get better and help you perform. They'll then give you the custom fit, which will consider the lie angle, the shaft length, the shaft flex, the head profile, the grip thickness, the shaft weight, all these other considerations to optimize your ball flight. And with things like TrackMan and FlightScope to monitor you, you're not just simply guessing and going, well, that looked better or that looked nicer. What we're doing there is we're actually showing you exactly the data on the screen to prove that this goes further or this goes higher or the shot dispersion here is better. Then there's a bit of personal preference of how that club feels and how that club looks and the manufacturer. But ultimately, following that process, you should end up with a perfect set of irons to suit your game.